today folks this is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm here in central Missouri and we're looking at a farm here that we leased several years ago that didn't have any fence on it we came in and negotiated a, a 10 year lease and uh, we built some new fence on this it's 120 acres and uh, we've been running cattle on it and sheep for several years now I wanted to show you uh, this is a very economical fence this is high tensile, so we've got five strands here on this wire. You get a close up here. These posts are, uh, those are six foot or 60 inches long. They're driven in the ground 18 inches. That gives you 42 inches sticking out. So your top wire is about 40 inches right there. Um, we used to have 48 inch tall perimeter fence and we would catch deer. Deer would hook their feet on it, especially young deer and you'd find them they'd be tangled in your fence so we went to this 40 inch top wire here and we really like it uh, this is effective for sheep pigs goats and cattle okay there's five wires there and you've got one on the bottom there that's about six inches and you've got one at 18 24 32 and the top one is 40. okay very effective fence i wanted to show you our fasteners though this is pretty cool we don't use cotter keys. We buy a 10 pound roll of soft galvanized 12 gauge wire at your local farm stores, anybody that sells fencing, and we drill, that's a 3 16 inch hole in that post. Just run the wire through that, and this high tensile wire stays on the outside. And you want that wire to be uh, just a little bit loose. I mean, you can see it moving in that twisted knot right there. Uh, this is a lot cheaper than cotter keys. You can buy cotter keys from the fencing dealers, and they're you know 18 to 20 cents a piece. These darn things in a 10 pound roll, you've got probably five or six hundred cotter keys in there. Um, well, probably a thousand. But the beautiful part is, if you want to take it off, you can just untwist that with cotter keys. It's a lot harder to get your wire off. Um, these are inch and a half painted posts. Those are fiberglass. Uh, we sell those here at Green Pastures Farm. It's a pretty economical post. I mean, you're looking at basically something that's going to last forever. It's not going to rut, rust or rot. Um, again, this is, uh, this is what it looked like across the road. And now it looks like this today. This is Greg Judy signing off. Everyone have a great day.